Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, this is Steve at the Guru Brew. Today I'm going to start a track of PHP programming tutorials. For, for those of you who don't know what a PHP programming is, it's a scripting language that's most useful in web page creation. Used alongside HTML as well as databases, you're able to change your web pages in real time depending on circumstance if it be web uh, if you're tracking uh, inventory or you would like a banner page rotation this is a perfect language to learn it's not a tough language to learn this is for beginners uh, um, hopefully you'll uh, join me and follow along with these easy to learn classes thanks for watching let's get started Okay, here we are at my computer and we're ready for our first class on PHP. Before I get started with the coding and talking about PHP, I should mention that if you need to make sure that your web server um, has PHP available on it. Now most modern um, services that offer a web page space are going to uh, allow you to use PHP in their arsenal of services so that you're able to build PHP. Um, you can certainly host your own on an extra computer that you might uh, have laying around. I have a class up here that was offered that shows you how to set up your own website so you can put your own PHP on it. That's what I like to do because I have control on it and I don't have to pay for it because it's already in my building. So that's the number one thing is you want to be sure that you do have PHP available to you before you start doing this or it won't work. Uh, but like I said, it's pretty common practice these days to have PHP on a web server. So with that, let's get started. Um, I have on my desktop a folder called www here that is pointed to my web server that's right over my shoulder here. And this is just a um, directory. Um, as with HTML pages, um, if you call up um, a page and you don't specify what page, it usually takes the first page which is called index. So if I were to call up a domain name but not specify like I wanted page one, page two, it would take the first page that was called index if it be called index HTML or HTM. Uh, same rings true with PHP pages. If you have one called index.php, it's going to bring that page up first. I have a PHP uh, uh, index page here that I created that's on the web server. And if I double click on it, it's going to open in a program called um, Notepad++. Now, Notepad++ is almost the same as just regular Notepad. Uh, speaking the notepad that comes with um, a Windows machine. The only difference between it, it has a few fancy features and it also auto line numbers. If you notice on the left side here uh, there's line numbers 1, 2, and 3 and if I were to put my cursor here and hit my enter key it automatically spaces this out and just adds line numbers in between for me. And this is really useful when we do error checking and we're checking on our code to make sure it's running properly. It'll reference um, problem areas in our code by a line number and that should get us close to uh, showing us where the, the problem lies in our error, in our coding. Um, if I open this same page with a regular notepad which I certainly can do and you can use notepad if you don't want notepad plus plus but it is a free download so I encourage you to use it uh, this is what it looks like with regular notepad so let me see if I can get these side by side for you here so the one on top here is simply notepad and then the one on the left is the notepad plus uh, plus the only real big difference that's obvious right now is the line numbers and the color coding of the commands. The color coding of the commands like the white part and the green 
those help us to identify different sections of the code and as we get to doing this um, um, you'll understand what all that means so as we continue on um, the basic syntax for writing PHP code um, is fairly simple you always start with a command that lets us know that PHP is coming and then you end with a command that uh, tells PHP interpreter that we're finished and here is the command at the top number one it starts with an angle bracket a question mark and uh, lowercase PHP this command is used in every uh, page that is a PHP code it, it tells the again it tells the uh, interpreter that we've started to send commands after this line that are PHP and should be treated as such and then as we end our PHP code we'll put a question mark with this angle bracket which means to end the code so every PHP should start with this code and end with this code so anything else in between um, the beginning tag and the ending tag is PHP and the interpreter will treat anything in between as PHP code. The first command that I'd like to talk about and one of the most important as a new user is called PHP info. Now this is a system PHP command and um, you can go to a very great resource on the web called php.net and this is also the home to PHP and its creators it is an open source project so there's no cost involved if you go to php.net here it's a huge library of everything PHP it has a uh, the downloads where you can download and install your own PHP as well as it has this really good search box now if we put in this search box PHP info it's going to come up with um, the command itself uh, what it does how it works how we can use it in our own code and then users are also gained access to put their own comments about their own experiences with using that command and there's a lot of useful information on this page and some of it's not useful so you have to weed through and kind of figure it out for yourself to a point but I will tell you that this PHP info what its job is is it shows us information about our web server and that's why I'm showing you it uh, first and it's also easy for a beginner to understand so back to our, our page where we're creating a uh, index.php page um, we've got PHP info with the uh, the brackets here and then a semicolon now the other trick about PHP aside from the beginning and the ending uh, tags every line should have a semicolon at the end of it that is the equivalence to a period in the English language it tells us that that is the end of the line if I didn't have this semicolon at the end of this PHP statement and I had it like that uh, PHP would assume that that line is not finished and try to pick up here on line 6 and it would probably throw an error so you want to make sure that each of the lines is finished out with a semicolon if you forget this it probably will throw an error now with just these simple three lines let me reduce these blank spots by the way if you do have blank spots um, they don't hurt anything PHP will just jump over them and it won't be red or bother with anything and sometimes I just put spaces in there for ease of use or to read let's tidy it up with just three lines I have my opening statement that says that PHP is coming I have my actual statement that should show me some web server information and then I have my any tag to tell the interpreter that PHP is over I'm gonna go ahead and save that to my web server I'm gonna go ahead and open up a new page to my actual um, web server and there it is there this page is created by this little bit of code right here 
that's the magic of the PHP info. Uh, PHP tells PHP to report all its findings about your web server, including databases, Apache, um, all the little um, extensions or add-ons that you might have. There's a lot of information in here and it's a great program to start with because you can find out a lot about your server that you might have not known. It tells the variables, it tells you when the, the version that you're using was built. You know if you have certain extensions are installed or not. So um, this page again is coming from this little bit of code right here. If you want to learn more about PHP info, again you can come to this uh, php.net uh, and, and type in PHP info in the search up here and it will give you a whole list of stuff that uh, could be useful to you. I would like to show you what will happen if I were to misspell something or add a character that does not belong. I'm going to add just a couple L's in there. I'm going to save this and I'm going to refresh my page here. You'll notice that an error was thrown and it tells me that it happened on line 2 and it gives me some other information here it gives me the location so let's look at line two and there it is um, this this portion that shows you the error might be off by one or two depending on the kind of error that was thrown but in general it comes pretty close to showing you where the error occurred in this example it shows that I had a uh, undefined function call in line two and sure enough, I can look through line two and say, oh yeah, I, I spelled PHP info wrong. I can fix that. I can resave it. And I can reload my page. And now it works again. So this was a very quick example of how to use PHP. There's just three lines of code here that make this entire page work, which is great. Um, there's one more command that I wanted to go over, and that is called comments. Now if I open up some space in here by coming and hitting the enter key, it opens up some space. Now if you put two forward slashes together, they turn blue like that. This is called a comment line. And a comment line is just there for me as a programmer. When I come back later and I have a hundred lines of code, I can look down through here and read comments to myself as reminders and it affects the uh, PHP uh, code in no way. When the interpreter comes down through comes down through here and it sees a comment, it's just going to skip over it. These are purely here for me and I can have as many as I want and it will not hurt a single thing. So that in a nutshell is our first basic lesson on PHP. I understand it's only three lines of code. I'm going to clean this up for you so you can copy it and try it on your own web server. These are the only three uh, lines that you need uh, so that you're able to show your PHP version, your Apache version, and all the configurations that come with it. It's really useful. You could always print this out and find out exactly what you've got on your server and where it's all located. I'm going to leave you with this. Uh, simple exercise to try first. If you have any comments or questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. I appreciate you watching this series. I'm going to, uh, this is the first of uh, uh, more tutorials on PHP programming. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you next time. Take care. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.